Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, tonight's video is an amazing boon to the Second Amendment. We have some incredible news that is right off the presses, which I want to share with you guys, and I want to know what you think in the comments field below, so let me know down there. Now, what we're going to talk about tonight is how we are on pace in the United States to actually buy more firearms than in 2020. Correct. You heard me correct. Based off of Nick's background checks, 2021 is trending higher than 2020. You know, that year with that whole situation, all of it, all the policies, 2021 is going further. Now, the thing that I want to bring up before I go into the actual article is this is an incredible move for us. We are getting more and more and more fresh blood into the Second Amendment world. They're not all going to be advocates by day, day one, but overall, they're taking their toes and they're dipping in the lake of freedom and they love how it feels. We're making a great impact, guys. Let's dive into this article because this is what being American is all about. When you run into issues, when you everything is fine, you're good. But when it starts getting rough, we take life by the horns and we handle this ourselves because we have all of our rights in a really nice document right at the top. So, let's dive into this article from the AP. Ammunition shells bear as U.S. gun sales continue to soar. Okay, from the AP, left-leaning. ABC also linked to it, and so did a, a uh, firm out of New York. By the way, we're going to revisit that because it sounds kind of weird that they're revisiting this, but listen to the tone that they do and the things they hit on. This is important. Seattle AP. The situation, coupled with record sales of firearms, has fueled a shortage of ammunition in the United States that's impacting law enforcement agencies, people seeking personal protection, recreational shooters and hunters, and could deny new gun owners the practice they need to handle their weapons safely. Coming from the AP, interesting angle. All year you've been telling us that this is bad because more guns equals more violence and more gun crime, but now that you've kind of I guess, wrestled with the fact that more guns are being bought because it's legal and it's our rights. Now you're going to hit on the ammunition and say, well, you don't have ammo, so you can't really practice, so now it's not safe. So it's not safe before because you were buying the guns, but then when that didn't work, now it's not safe because you can't get ammo in practice, so you're not safe. This guy's getting desperate, but we're going to keep going. Keep going. Let me know what you think in the comments field below because this is great. This is great. Now, this is where we've been on the date, Okay. The National Shooting Sports Foundation, an industry trade group, says more than 50 million people participate in shooting sports in the U.S. and estimates that 20 million guns were sold last year, with 8 million of those sales made by first-time buyers. So almost half. That is a lot of new blood coming in. That's a great thing. And it's up to us to reach out to them, by the way. When you talk about these people buying guns, it really has an impact on people buying ammunition, spokesman Mark Oliva said. This is all about the ammunition. I'd like to give you an impact to the scale. If you look at 8.4 million gun buyers, that was last year's first time gun buyers, and they all want to buy one box with 50 rounds, that's going to be 420 million rounds. That's so true. That's not even including the existing pressures on the system. This is just the new people. Okay, so that makes sense. That makes sense why there's an ammunition pressure. But here is where it gets into the really cool data. Listen to how we're ahead of 2020 in 2021, where we're at right now. So we're just starting August when this video is made. The FBI's National Instant Criminal Background Check System database also documented an increase in sales. In 2010, there were 14.4 million background checks for gun purchases. That jumped to almost 39.7 million in 2020 and to 22.2 million just through June of 2021 alone. We are on track to beat the Knicks background inquiries by about 5 million in 2021. 5 million new inquiries. That is insane. Okay. The actual number of guns sold could be much higher since multiple firearms can be linked to a single background check. No data is available for ammunition because sales are not regulated and no license is required to sell it. And it ain't going to be that way either. But that's really crazy. Those numbers are insane. Good stuff. All right. And so here are some reasons for the excessive demand, the article says. This is where it gets really funny because they put the leftward spin on it, like the best way they can. As the pandemic raced across the country in early 2020, the resulting lockdown orders and cutbacks on police response, cutback on, release res on police response, <laughs> defund, um, sowed safety fears, that's weird, creating an overwhelming demand for both guns and ammo, Oliva said. Factories continue to produce ammunition, but sales far exceeded the amount that could be shipped, he said. And this is where the gun controllers go. 
This is from Gun Safety, like every town for gun safety, okay, or excuse me, actually, Gifford Law Center. This is far left gun control, all right? Where there's an increased sense of instability, fear, and insecurity, more people will purchase guns, said Ari Freilich, Freilich of the Gifford Law Center to prevent gun violence. So even the far lefties, like ultimate gun control centers, are saying that's going to happen. As supplies dwindled, some gun owners began to stockpile ammo. Early on in the pandemic, we saw people hoarding toilet paper, disinfectant, and now it's ammo, he said. I mean, I mean I've mean, i always had ammo on hand, I'm just saying. Wusenberg emphasized the danger in first-time gun buyers not being able to practice using their new weapons. Oh, there it is again. So now the problem is they can't practice. See what they did? They always shift narratives, guys. They always do. And this part, I put in here just because it's important for you guys as gun owners because the ammo thing, right? Jason Vanderbrink, a vice president at Vista Outdoors, which owns the federal CCI Spear and Remington Ammunition brands, said the companies are shipping ammo as fast as they can make it. I'm tired of reading the misinformation on the internet right now about us not trying to service the demand that we're experiencing, he said in a YouTube video produced for customers aimed at quashing speculation suggesting otherwise. And I just put that in there because I feel like it needed to be in there. But this part, this whole thing about they're shifting to, well, now it's bad they all have guns because there's no ammo and that's not safe. So now guns aren't safe again. It's hilarious. But I'm going to sidestep the lefty, you know, puddle stepping, if you know what I'm saying, or... Yeah, let's go with puddle stepping and focus on the fact that we are on pace to embrace more freedom in this country than the highest record that's ever been set last year. That is something to celebrate, guys. And we are moving forward. We're going to take L's in little places. We're going to take W's in little places in some big cases probably pretty soon. But we are going to be right here every single day. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow to see what tomorrow brings. Until tomorrow, I'm Braden. See you later.